What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Alpha Phil. And we're going back to the Breathtaking Blue 1989. I have very much enjoyed this album. Oh. You gonna come over? I apologize for the delay, but Luca's considering if she wants to jump up. Are you gonna go here? Are you gonna go my lap? My lap? Well, we are back to the Breathtaking Blue, and the next tune is Ariana. Oh, well, Luca just stares at me. She had, she was so purposeful, and now she's stalled out. In any case, uh, it's a female name. I know it as a given name. I suppose it could be a surname, but ultimately, I wonder if this would be a song about a woman named Ariana. And yeah, it's a single name. There it is. It's a single name and it's a single word title and a name, meaning without further context, it really is opaque. So let's get straight to it now that we've got a very comfortable Luca. This is Alphaville, the track is Ariana, and it's from the 1989 album The Breathtaking Blue. Oh. We've got pace. different styles this album is incorporating is fascinating it's like there's still an electricity to it there's still that synth pop flavor 
in a number of the tracks, but whether it's jazz or whether it's, um, I get like surf rock meets just sort of like 50s or oldie timey rock and roll. Um, this one really blended uh, and you know 80s synth bop style with those flavors. And I think a couple of the elements were homages. It's, again, is it called the bird? Like birds, the word. I'm trying to remember the name of the tune, but it's like a you know an old school rock and roll track. And at the very beginning, it was making me think of you know Wipeout or something like a surf rock tune. So um, yeah, bottom line, enjoying the the multifaceted um, stylistic approach to this album, and it's definitely you know beyond what they've done before. Even if you know maybe it's uh, more eclectic or you know less conducive to like everyone's going to be a hit on the radio so um yeah really enjoyed that and again it seemed a bit tongue-in-cheek or like meta where it's like it's self-conscious of it's you know being a bit like it's telling a story but it's sort of silly and it's you know like the voices and um there were like you know live like crowd sounds at one point so um, yeah, it felt like a, a story song and not just in terms of the lyrics telling you a story, but also sort of immersing you in what felt like a, a sonic narrative. So, um, either way, I don't know, Ariana Mania, I'm not sure uh, what that's all about, but apparently she's going to set the scenes on fire. Um, which again, like if it's about a specific character or like an actual person or at least, you know, like a person in literature or something. Um, I'm not familiar, so I don't know what to make of that, but either way, um, a compelling tune and one that just keeps me guessing as it, as it pertains to the, um, flavors on this album. So yeah, really cool and creative album, even before we finish it. Uh, shout out to the people following the Alphaville reactions. Um, I, I do appreciate the insight and there always seems to be a lot of enthusiasm when I get back around to them. So you are very much appreciated as well. Uh, so from Luca, the sleeping cat, and I, who will be very sad that I'm moving her, uh, do let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.